Hi, I'm Alexander Ivicich of Hot Iron Production. I'm in very... Take two. Hi, I'm Alexander Ivicich on set with a very special filmmaker tonight, and I'm going to let him introduce himself. I am Andrew Dale, originally from Grand Island, New York, now attending University of Buffalo, Bulls. And uh, you are currently working on a short four to five minute project, am I right? I am for my digital media class. And what is this project about exactly? Um, it's actually, it's a psychological look at the effects of bullying yeah, and verbal Action. abuse. Action. And what exactly is this project meant to portray? Um, it's just meant to portray like the kind of, kind of like a, um, the thoughts of someone that could be pushed so far and the psychological aspect of that and how horrifying it could be for somebody and um, in an entertaining way that's kind of like a, a little bit of psychological horror for the... And then I, I want you to look at them and realize it and then just turn the other way and walk towards the so, camera and leave. Say, say for instance, they'll be right at the door, she's walking right here, I catch it from here angled over her shoulder, right. catch them in the background. Right. Gotcha. I think it'd be interesting if you got a shot of her like right past her face and yeah. you see them in the background. Yeah. I wing all of them. And what inspired you to do this project exactly? I just thought it was uh, relevant today, especially. You hear so many stories about uh, verbal abuse and bullying and how it affects people. So I thought it was relevant today and it was uh, kind of an interesting way to do it. And where are you hoping this project will end up? Are you just shooting it for your class or? I'm just kind of shooting it for class. And if it goes anywhere, great. Not like those two. I'm making okay, it. So just stick to her right shoulder. And then like I put it in kind of like for each other. Oh, yeah. And then real slow. Turn your head like you're kind of like. You stop grabbing stuff, and, and then so you... So has he been looking at me then? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want me to stare at her? Yeah. And then just... This. And then you like, go like... Like really As you're... Stuff. Yeah. And then just kind of shuffle around in here, okay. and then grab it, and close it, and book. Okay. Start We're off. on the set for Andrew Dale's first big project, and I am here on set with two extras, and your guys' names are... Julie Kilmer. Charles Grunswick. <laughs> Your characters are the bullies in the actual film, right? So you guys were uh, like more or less background characters, but you were very important to this aspect of the storyline. So as far as actually making fun of the character, it's like you, you, you're saying you're a minor character, but in reality, your characters are what trigger the actual events of the film itself. Uh, I've got an interesting question, actually, since you how the film do deals with bullying. Uh, did you used to be a bully? At some point, maybe. Yes, and still am, kind of. And then they'll continuously be making fun of her, right? even right. after she's walking away. Right. Gotcha. So okay. Like, first, I look at her, like, we make eye contact. Like, like, I'm gonna be, like, putting yeah. them you're in. Cut, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. But you're kind of, like, smirking. Like, yeah. you're kind of, like. I'm gonna, like, look at her, I'm like. I'm gonna yeah. get something to grab really quick. per se, somebody came up um, to you, somebody who's involved in a big Hollywood production, and said, We need extras, and we're willing to pay you $100 a month. Would you do it? Yes. Actually, $100 a day. What am I saying, a month? I'd never do it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you guys want to per se pursue it if it's available, but what do you actually want in life? What are you planning on going into? So like the future, do you have anything you want to do in life? Uh, say a career, career choice. Um, anything in the communication field or psychology? Uh, probably something with education. In the future. Action. I am on set with the girl who is ugly as sin. My name's Nicole Pondo. I'm originally from Rochester, New York, also attending the University of Buffalo. And how did you get involved with this project? Um, Andrew actually asked me, um, and I met him this year, and he's pretty cool. We were both nerdy and low film, and so. And this, like, one line, one went. sounds better than another. Right. I'm just thinking like I'm a like family guy right now, like reading through my life. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Read him <why>? again. <laughs> okay. Whatever. And <laughs> what exactly uh, made the director cast you as the girl who's ugly as sin? Um, you know, I just think that I'm really open to doing different things with film and when it comes to acting. So I just thought I would try it out. I mean, I don't necessarily think I'm ugly as sin, but, you know, I, tr I tried my hardest. And I'm assuming this is one of your first acting roles? 
It is. It's my first little acting role on screen. I I used to do things with like musicals in middle school, but you know that's about it. This is like my first sit down and really film and get serious with more people that are just my friends joking Lovely. around with the camera. It's it's fun. So and this my heart, where each vine step and turn. As gentle as red springtime rose. And you mentioned you're going to school right now. What exactly for? Um, I currently double major in English and in film. So, definitely very interesting. I love writing, and it would be awesome to one day, you know, sit down and actually write part of a film, part of a TV show, anything like that. Um, or editing. Do you write comedy? Of course. We can collaborate. Awesome. I'm Sweet. <laughs> I'm right. I try to be funny. Try. You try? I, I think I succeed a lot of the time. Do people tell you that? I just know. Are they? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. It's only skin deep. For I to fold enchantment round their hearts, have pools of light where beauty flames and dies, the placid mirrors of my luminous eyes. I am Jeffrey Lavin, and I am the director of photography for Skin Deep. And how did you get involved with this project? He asked me to. <laughs> the director asked me to. Well, that's good. Word of recommendation. Don't really know how to respond to that. Next question. <laughs> All right, and what are you currently into? Are you going to school for film? I'm going to school at the University of Buffalo for media studies. I'm trying to get a dual degree in media studies and business management. So, uh, you know. Wanna own my own but production I'm not company one day? I mean, it's true. The beginning and the end is the most impactful on the on the person, but you don't want them bored in between. So right, I'm you not, want some some sort of meat from the beginning. Yeah, I'm not. Concerned well, I think about it's a fantastic now. project. I think the idea is solid. I think the storyline is solid, and it's very worthy for any uh, festival. You know, anything for uh, drama shorts or. Um, it, it's a thriller, it puts you on the edge of your seat, it makes you want to cringe, it's a very moving piece and I love it, so I think it's going to do great. And what was your impression after uh, you know hearing about the storyline and everything? Uh, how did you feel about the project personally? Did it have any effect on, you know, say your previous life or anything you've been through before? Uh, not particularly. Um, you've never been ugly as sin? Or a female? No, I've always been beautiful. Um, <laughs> yeah. And kind of just like shuffle around like you're nervous. But we'll cut, so don't worry about that. So just, just worry about, as soon as we get that cut on your yeah. face, I'll we'll go from there. I'll just cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll explain it cut by cut. We'll cut. And uh, as the DP of this project, you obviously had to portray this visually. Uh, do you have any, per se, techniques that you prob probably used or anything maybe? So I, I hear that the character's face is cut off. Is that something that is visually portrayed in the film? Is there a reasoning behind that? Uh, the reason why we cut off the face of not only the main character, but a lot of the other characters that seem to be in the shots with them. Um, the reason why we cut off the face of the main character, though, is because we don't want people to really... We want them to guess, and you know, how ugly, or say, the main character is, you know. Because it's better to not know, and to probably use your own imagination to create the story, rather than having to have the director put it there for you. I smile not ever, neither do I weep. As gentle as a red springtime rose, I've come to realize beauty is only skin deep. So what is the project called? Um, skin deep. Heart. It's called skin deep, not a porno. Not a pornography, but it are is skin deep. Are you sure? Um, as of now, it could take some really weird turns, but <laughs> as of now, it's not a pornography. Just watch Skin Deep. I think you'll all be impressed by it. Well, I'd like to thank Andrew for letting me do this, and um, I hope this works out well. He gets an A. He deserves it. And I want to say thanks. Thank you. Any last words? <laughs> Go Bulls. We hope to see it soon. Anything else you want to add? Oh, thanks. Would thanks you like for, to eat? Thanks for checking it out. Appreciate it. Would you like to eat the camera? I would love to eat the camera. Okay, go ahead. What do you want to say? No, it's Movie to over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for checking this out and, uh, and seeing what we have to offer. We hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and Movie's Movie over. over. <laughs> Why don't we plan this out a little bit more? This is this is how our movie's gone so far. Impro right. Improvised. Improvised. Improv. Ready? And action.
Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? I'm I so don't confused. know. Movie over. over. You guys are so beautiful. <laughs>